Have you ever wondered what to do with gift bags that you never ever seem to reuse? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can use this to get this with just using a little Mod Podge. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make amazing DIY vanity trays. I love a vanity, I love a bathroom, but more importantly, I love when it looks beautiful. I learned a little couple of tricks along the way, actually starting when I was a tri-delt, delta, 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 at Vanderbilt University, and I learned the genius of Mod Podge. I know, it's cool. It's a water-based sealer, glue and finish, and let me tell you, it makes things look magical, and I'm gonna show you how. Here's your recyclable. This is just one that I collect that I love, and I always think, like, I love the pattern, I love the color, but I. I normally save it because I love it, so I never give it away. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this, um, and I've kind of pre-marked it just so I kind of know what length I want. So I've already cut a piece of paper in here and stuck it so you can see the beginning of what it's gonna look like. This is what it, ultimately it's gonna be. So I'm just gonna cut, I kind of always start a little bit bigger just to make sure I'm right on track. And then I'll do it like this. So again, I've just made the length of the vanity tray, which I'm gonna show you. So this is just um, one from a bag that I had already pre-cut so you guys could see. And again, once you've already cut one, you can use that as your template to cut around it. So I'm just gonna place this one in here just so you guys can see what it's going to look like. So basically what you're gonna do, take your vanity tray out, you're gonna use, um, your tacky spray. This is also something that, like the Mod Podge, this is something that you should really always have in the house because you never know when you're gonna use it. And it's great tacky spray. It's actually permanent spray. So it's very easy. You're just gonna spray the back and do it quite generously. Just so you really make sure that it sticks. See, I'm actually covered all of it. See how wet and sticky it is? Then I'm gonna take my tray and I'm gently going to press it down. Now here's where you kind of want to be really a little bit careful because you've sprayed it, so you kind of got to gently place it before you press it. And then again, just press all four corners, making sure that you're even and voila. And then you want to also go over with your hand and really press it down to make sure it's even and there's no bumps. Okay, next, you're gonna take your Mod Podge. Very easy. Um, looks kind of gluey, kind of like a melted marshmallow. Kids love it. They kind of think, <laughs> you just put Mod Podge on it and all of a sudden they're like, Picasso, it's amazing. This is what our vanity tray is gonna be like. Okay, so you take a little sponge. It's really easy. You can get it at the craft store or Michael's or order it online. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go over the entire paper. There are two types of Mod Podge. Um, you have matte and glossy. To do this particular craft, you definitely want to go glossy. That's kind of the genius in making it shine and making it really glossy and gorgeous. So it's going to look something like this until it dries. So you're going to want to do a few layers of the Mod Podge until it dries. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start to put on a second layer. You're really, really going for that lacquered look. That's what makes it look really super chic and really luxurious. Kind of a little bit more bang for your buck. Kind of that really rich, the shine really takes it up a notch. So again, here's my second layer. And again, I've done it quite generously. How's that? While that's drying, I'm gonna show you a little trick. So like we used the paper, whether it be from a bag or, um, craft paper, you can also spray paint. I know it sounds messy, I know it sounds old school, but I promise you it's really easy. I started to spray paint this side of it, and then, honestly, this is just a plain white tray. I love this French blue at the moment. It's called Lark Spur Blue, and it's just a really beautiful blue. It's from Design Master, but again, you can get any spray paint that you need. We also have a light blue, and it's called Blue Sky, that's also um, quite pretty. I'm gonna use gloves for this. These are super cheap, super plastic that you can just throw away, or you can use one pair of craft gloves um, and go to it. 
Okay, so we're gonna take our tray. Again, I've done half of it. Okay, I'm gonna shake this. And again, I'm just going to spray paint. This is super easy. Also, it's fun to let your kids paint. You know, if you give them a, a paintbrush and do a little Mod Podge over it, it's so fun. It looks so cool. I'll show you one that my kids and I are gonna make at some point during these videos and you'll think it's super cute. So see, you just spray paint it. Again, make sure you do all the sides. While the blue tray is drying, I'm gonna do a third coat of the Mod Podge. And it really does um, help, you know, the tray hold up. It helps it, makes it water resistant, which is really important because it is gonna be in your bathroom. And just from the air from your shower, your bath can really affect things. So you definitely want to add at least two or three coats when you're doing this. And then you just let it dry. I mean, it can take anywhere from a half an hour to 45 minutes, depending on kind of how thick you've gone with your Mod Podge. I think Martha Stewart would be proud of me right now. I do. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. So while the pink dries, I'm going to add my Mod Podge to this spray painted vanity. I'm just gonna add a couple layers, just like we did with the pink one. Go quite generous, because the more generous, the more glossy. This can be super quick. And I'm actually on this one gonna do the entire tray, but I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone because I'm gonna add this great paper um, inside so it's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna take my tacky spray again. I'm just gonna spray the back of it. And make sure you get the sides. Really important. So I'm gonna add one more layer of the Mod Podge and I'm gonna then let it really fully dry. You're probably wondering because it's quite white and really kind of erratic with you know putting it on but you'll never see it just the main thing is to really get it even and really get it coated for that shine and it will dry clear so don't worry if it looks really messy you're never gonna see it and when they're all dry this is what it's supposed to look like how cool is that so I've created my own little vanity with the pink one just to show you I throw my hairspray I throw perfume candles jewelry whatever's in you know, my bathroom that kind of needs to be straightened. It always looks really nice. You can do this in a bathroom. You can do this um, pretty much anywhere with anything. All you need is just a little bit of imagination. Again, Mod Podge, that's your secret weapon. See, that was pretty easy, right? DIY vanity trays, I know you can do it. As always, subscribe to my channel. Let me know how you're doing right below your comments. I love hearing about anything and everything, especially DIY stuff. I'm always a little bit like anxious to try new things. So if you've got anything you definitely want to see me try, let me know.